Let's see. It may take me a while to handle things. We are different too, in, in some ways, makes things more interesting, but I think to the core we're pretty much the same. He likes to say, oh, we're made for each other and stuff, so. It's really beautiful. She actually um, printed this herself, yeah. and totus tuus in Latin means all yours. That's what we had engraved inside our rings. Many of the times, I would attend Mass and pray for my future wife. In fact, I've been doing that since my early teens, so that's about 15 years. People say, people who know him from before, they say he never cries, like even when he watched sentimental movies. But I've seen him tear up quite a few times. I think, I don't know, it's very sweet. So, I mean, I'm not a very sentimental person too, and I do that. I guess that makes you act a bit silly sometimes, so. She'll be nervous, I'm sure. <laughs> Very nervously. <laughs> I haven't seen her dress yet, so this is gonna be the first time. I'm very excited to see her dress. Uh, her in the dress. <laughs> oh, this card is so beautiful. <laughs> oh, a bit nervous, but it's okay. It's okay. Excited too. More excited than nervous. Oh, I may want to walk more quickly, but he says to like take it slow and I have to walk more slowly. Like, that's what he said, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do that and not run. Kocham cię, żona moja. Kocham cię. We can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together and eternity after. That's how we see it. He has this distracted face sometimes when he looks at me and then he sort of forgets what he's supposed to do next. So maybe like that, I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll see. Jade, for my lawful wife. I, Jade, take thee, Paul, for my lawful husband. To have and to hold, from this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. With this ring I thee wed, and I plight unto thee my troth. <laughs> Having just left Mass, I was deep in my thoughts, and so I stopped at the intersection near the church on my way back to the metro. She goes to the Latin Mass as well, St. Irene, and that's where she met Paul. Suddenly, a beautiful woman walks up to me with a very big, shy smile. There was something about her that just drew me to her.
So fast forward a few months, so he was raining and we were under the umbrella and all of a sudden he started saying things, I mean sweeter things than usual because he's very sweet. And then um, he started saying sweet things and then all of a sudden he goes down on one knee and I'm like, your knee, your clothes, it's wet. And he's like, it's okay. And then he asked the question and obviously I said yes. They have been transformed by their relationship, their friendship. Their friendship has become the center of their life, and I'm so proud of them. We'll turn to our Lord, thanking Him for the wonderful celebration, the beautiful decor, which Jade had planned months in advance. As you know, everything is perfectly organized. Look around. I know everyone here will want to join us in raising your glasses in a, into a toast to a very long, happy and healthy future together. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand raise, and raise your glasses to a new bride and groom, Jade and Paul! Sorry, this is funny. We wrote pretty much, pretty much the same thing, but we usually really read each other's minds anyway. So it's very difficult for us to surprise each other because of that. Well, she's very smart. I do like that. <laughs> She completes me in every way possible. I'm so happy I met you and I'm so happy I get to keep you for the rest of my life. <laughs>